The last time that I ever ran out of garbanzo beans was never. Next time you're at the grocery store, I implore you to pick up a can of chickpeas. Open up the can and pour it into a strainer, then rinse all of the can water off. Alternatively, you can save the water as an egg white substitute, but that is an entirely different show. In the meantime, you can Google aquafaba. Cook these beans in a non-stick skillet over medium-high heat with olive oil and a few cloves of smashed garlic. Season it with salt. This will depend on how salty your canned beans already come fresh black pepper, a teaspoon each of Cuban and paprika, and a half teaspoon of cayenne if you like it hot. Toss these around every couple of minutes and just keep on going until everything's really golden and aromatic. You'll notice over time that the once plump beans will become smaller, crispier versions of themselves. Just don't go for so long that you end up burning the garlic. After 10 to 15 minutes, turn off the heat and add in an enormous handful of fresh chopped herbs. This really could be all parsley, but this is your opportunity to mix in whatever else you have left over, like chives, cilantro, dill, basil, or even a little bit of mint. If you have a can of chickpeas and a very basic herb garden, you are always only 10 minutes away from a really great meal. Just like that, you have spiced herbed chickpeas that are good now or easily reheated tomorrow. Garbanzos are an excellent base for an easy, healthy breakfast, lunch, or dinner. In the morning, you could reheat them in tomato sauce, poach some eggs right in the pan, and have a high-protein breakfast shakshuka. For lunch in a pinch, serve the warm beans inside of a berm of full-fat plain yogurt that's been seasoned with salt, pepper, and olive oil. For all of the flavor of a falafel sandwich without balling out and deep frying, go for a deconstructed falafel salad with pita chips. There are recipes for all three aforementioned paths served as links in the description. P.S. This is probably always going to be the case. I don't think I'll ever become a proper recipe developer. And for anyone who thinks that teaching other people's concepts is theft, go ahead and ask your 8th grade math teacher if she invented the Pythagorean theorem. Still leaving a bad taste in your mouth? Hey, I've got a couple of tiny brown beans for you to devour any time of day, buddy. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross a YouTube guy who wants to teach basic cooking principles with a society that insists that sharing recipes without altering them is stealing. Get what you fucking deserve.